Oh my gosh, do you look beautiful. When I first started thinking about this story, Felix was the central character in my head, and I've always been reluctant to work with Bill after Lost in Translation because I feel people loved him so much in that, and it's too much expectation. I could never do that again. But I think you could just have more energy and quicker within the lines. But now, after all these years, I feel like I love working with him. We'll just go for it and try something, and it'll be something different. Stand up. Put your arms around me. What? Yuck. I have great trust in her. I've been really fortunate to work with people that are really good and fun. So when they call, I just go like, okay, it's Sophia. I feel like now that I've known Bill all these years, he's a friend and like a big brother who, not unlike the character, kind of sweeps in and brings magic and life to the situation. So he's sort of this fairy godfather. Does my foot smell funny? <laughs> I'm having more fun watching her all the time. I mean, she's just a child when she made this movie, and she just keeps getting better. Can you just wait a little longer before you exit? Oh, sure. This movie is personal to me in that it reflects where I've been living and details of parenthood and struggling with being creative and trying to find your footing. And in Lost in Translation, it was a young woman in her 20s kind of finding herself, and now this is another phase. And hopefully by the end, the characters have gotten something from each other. We all just want to be loved. You've got beauty and character, which is the most important thing a person can have.